Hi friends, green dust algae, also known as green spot algae, is a common issue in aquariums. It appears as a thin layer of green film on various surfaces, such as glass, rocks, and decorations. The main cause of green dust algae is an imbalance in the aquarium environment, particularly in terms of lighting and nutrient levels. Here's a breakdown of the factors that contribute to the growth of green dust alga. 1. Lighting Excessive or improper lighting can trigger the growth of green dust alga. Too much light, especially when combined with long photo periods, can promote alga growth. Additionally, if the aquarium receives direct sunlight, it can exacerbate the problem. It's important to provide the appropriate intensity and duration of light for your specific aquarium setup. 2. Nutrient Levels Green dust alga thrives on excess nutrients, particularly nitrates and phosphates. These nutrients can enter the aquarium through various sources, such as overfeeding, decaying plant matter, and inadequate filtration. If the nutrient levels in the water are too high, it can fuel the growth of algae. To tackle green dust alga, it's crucial to address these underlying causes. Here are some methods to control and prevent its growth. 1. Manual Removal you can manually remove the green dust alga using an alga-specific scrubber or a razor blade. Be gentle while scraping the alga off the glass to avoid scratching it. 2. Water changes. Regular water changes help dilute the excess nutrients in the aquarium. Aim for weekly water changes of around 10 to 20% to maintain good water quality. 3. Lighting adjustment. Evaluate the lighting conditions in your aquarium. Consider reducing the intensity or duration of light if it's too strong or prolonged. It's also helpful to provide a consistent light schedule to mimic natural day and night cycles. 4. Algae eating fish or invertebrates. Introducing certain fish or invertebrates that feed on alga can help control its growth. Some examples include Siamese algae eaters, otocinclus catfish, amano shrimp, and nerite snails. However, keep in mind that these organisms should only be added if they are compatible with the other inhabitants of your aquarium. 5. Nutrient Management Take steps to manage nutrient levels in the aquarium. Avoid overfeeding your fish and promptly remove any uneaten food. Regularly clean the substrate and perform maintenance on your filtration system to prevent the accumulation of organic waste. 6. Biological Balance Encourage a healthy biological balance in the aquarium by incorporating live plants. Live plants help absorb excess nutrients, compete with algae for resources, and provide oxygen for the fish. Remember, maintaining a balanced ecosystem is key to preventing the growth of green dust alga. Regular maintenance, proper lighting, and nutrient management will help keep your aquarium clean and healthy. If you found the video useful, then please subscribe to the channel, I would be very grateful. Bye everyone!